A Houston judge dubbed a darling of the Democratic Party is under investigation for allegedly plotting to rig an $11 million contract, COVID vaccine outreach contract, for a private consulting firm owned and operated by former Hillary Clinton campaign official with multiple ties to the DNC. Critics say that Lena Hidalgo, judge for Harris County, Texas, the third most populated county in the entire country, initiated a public COVID vaccination campaign in early 2021, only to stack the vendor selection committee with three members of her own staff. Hmm. Dan Cohen reports for Mint Press News that by ushering in strict pandemic policies, including lockdowns and school closures, Lena Hidalgo crushed Houston's working class and transformed the city into a cash cow for the emergent multi-million dollar biosecurity industry. And Dan joins us now to tell us more about this important story. Thank you so much for joining us, Dan, and welcome to Rising. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, we, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, this is exactly the kind of story, you know, we like to get into uh, on the show, how the pandemic, you know, was used by special interests um, to, to push various products and policies, et cetera. So, so you know, give us, uh, give us the gist of your story. Well, I mean, the, the hook is that Lena Hidalgo um, and her staff rigged a bid for a $10.9 million contract for vaccine outreach, essentially going to impoverished neighborhoods in Houston in order to encourage people to take COVID vaccines. And they gave it to a, a Democratic National Committee operative named Felicity Pereira, who had no experience in this field. And they selected her firm, Elevate Strategies, uh, which was a one person operation over established um, or, uh, organizations that actually scored better on um, Harris County's uh, scoring for this for this um, this bid. So this is kind of the tip of the iceberg of the scandals that um, Lena Hidalgo has been involved in since she became Harris County uh, County Judge, which is a little bit of a strange term, but she's the top elected official in Harris County, the third most populous um, uh, county in the United States, which is basically the greater Houston area. So. She is she oversaw um, not only rigging this bid, as is shown uh, allegedly in the in the unsealed warrants that the Texas Rangers and the and the Harris County District Attorney um, released, but she's just overseen the total destruction of Houston's working class and poor through totally nonsensical lockdowns like much of the country. And you've also you also did some reporting on a, a, a tweet or a press con or some kind of publicity she did uh, where you're claiming uh, that there was a an Omicron death and then kind of, I think, reimposing uh, the sort of uh, restrictions. Can you can you talk about that? What was what was off about that? So back in December, right before Christmas, everyone was terrified about the new wave of Omicron, you know, those coming out of, out of South Africa and. No one knew what does that mean for my upcoming travel plans and finally getting to see my family. And Lena Hidalgo holds this press conference where she declares that Harris County had the country's first Omicron death. And then I saw it reported some as from and some as with, which obviously can mean very different things. So I called the Harris County Department of Health and they told me, no, they can't confirm that it was a death from Omicron. And so that kind of opened my eyes to kind of go into the story and see what she was up to. And it, and it was just a total lie. She had no evidence and she was basically fear mongering uh, the, the entire country. And that's that's who Lena Hidalgo is. Hmm. So is there uh, you know, what is the what's going on with the there's there an investigation? There's a given this uh, what you've said is an unethical kind of a contract being awarded. Uh, what, what's going on with that right now? So the Texas Rangers and the Harris County District Attorney um, raided her office back in March, I believe, and the warrant was unsealed a month later. Text messages from their computers and cell phones showed how they uh, rigged this bid for that DNC operative, Felicity Pereira. But um, so it, the investigation continues. Lena Hidalgo has said that she expects to be in, indicted. Three of her top staff members have been in, indicted themselves. Um, so who knows where this will go? And there's a, uh, a, a race right now. Lena Hidalgo is up for reelection and she is really stirred up her 
um, uh, her opposition, the Republican base, which, you know, my my work exposing her is in no way an endorsement of her opposition. I mean, I'm you know, I, I'm from the left, but I think we have to be honest about regardless who of who is in power that, um, you know, we we won't accept this kind of blatant corruption. You know, this is such a, you know, powerful example of, I think, a phenomenon that you've probably done a lot of reporting on that we've certainly talked about on the show quite a bit that we've noticed, which is political figures and moneyed interests using the pandemic to profit or to gain, you know, more power for themselves. I mean, the tremendous, uh, the tremendous power shifted to the, to the elites and to government, government health officials, other government officials, uh, some companies, et cetera, to, to set the terms for how we're all allowed to live. Does this, you know, is this issue, is she going to have to resign in disgrace over this? Well, <laughs> one, well, one would she hope expects if it's to true. be indicted. Yeah, so <laughs> she, expects, I, to be she indicted. expects to be indicted. I think a resignation is inevitable. Yeah. She said she expects to be indicted, but she said it's all political persecution and that mm. she's, you know, totally a victim here. But I mean, and maybe, to your point, but she'll still probably have to resign. I mean, you know, the text messages, if you read those yeah. in the indictment are pretty in, in the right. warrant, I'm sorry, are, are pretty damning. But yeah. to your point, Robbie, I mean, Lena Hidalgo, the thrust of my my second investigation into Lena Hidalgo, which everyone can read at Mint Press News is showing that Lena Hidalgo's lockdowns were actually ordered not by, were designed not by public health real experts who are trying to you know, look out mm-hmm. for, for the most vulnerable, but actually by a billionaire funded uh, think tank housed inside Rice University called the Texas Policy Lab, which is funded by Houston's wealthiest couple, John and Laura Arnold, owners of the Arnold Foundation. And through this uh, Texas policy lab, which almost no one has ever heard of and is actually mentioned in the unsealed warrant, they brought the most heinous destruction of the working class and poor in Houston that it's ever seen. Worse than the 2008 Great Recession, Re- Great Recession and the 1987 oil bust combined. And so we're supposed to say that that was done in the name of public health. Um, it's just totally absurd. And it shows that the the billionaire class actually wanted lockdowns. They wanted to basically turn off the spigot so, you know, poor and working people could not um, could not survive. And basically then the the biggest corporations in the in the world, Amazon, for instance, would be able to take their market share as businesses died off. And so that's you know, that's the reality of this supposed progressive, supposed reformer, Lena Hidalgo, who's really a cog in a Mm. nationwide influence machine. Wow. Well, thank you so much for your investigative journalism and reporting, Dan. Thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Rising after this.